The FE Gear Mimic 9 Speed is an exciting new addition to the growing range of bicycle gearboxes. You might not have heard of this small French gearbox manufacturer before, but they've actually been in the gearbox game for around a decade. The FE Gear Original was larger in size than the Pinion P118 gearbox, it had a smaller gear range and fewer gears. While Pinion began by pushing their 18-speed gearbox drivetrain into the touring and urban markets, Effie Gear was forging their own path into the mountain bike world with just nine gears. And this was for good reason. Unlike the Pinion gearbox, Effie Gear had its drive sprocket located separately from the crank assembly. This allowed full suspension frame designers to build their swing arm pivots around the upper axle of the gearbox creating a simple and silent drivetrain, but also reducing the effect of chain forces on the rear suspension. The downside to building frames around a large volume gearbox is that it significantly restricts what frame designers can do with their linkages, which largely determines the ride characteristics of a full suspension bike. Instead of waiting for bike manufacturers to adopt their gearbox design, Effie Gear created their own bike brand, Cavalry Bikes, to showcase the potential of their drivetrain. While a few brands did adopt the gear system, Effie Gear gearboxes have remained very niche over the last decade as a result of the gearbox packaging. But that's all about to change. The Effie Gear Mimic uses a much more compact design than the original, which provides more flexibility when it comes to frame design. You'll find nine gears inside the gearbox with the equivalent range of a one by drivetrain using an 11 to 50 tooth cassette. As the output sprocket has been moved to the crank assembly, the weight has also been reduced by 15% compared to the original design, making it competitive with Pinion's nine speed gearbox. In fact, the Mimic will now install to the same frame plate as a Pinion gearbox. As the Pinion frameplate is used by over 100 bike manufacturers, Effie Gear can now sell its gearboxes to a much larger market. This means we finally have a choice of crank-based gearboxes too, and there's another budget gearbox in the works. Before we dive into the defining features of the Effie Gear Mimic, let's discuss why gearboxes are a fantastic drivetrain for some bikes. Number one, there's much less maintenance. Gearboxes don't ever need to be adjusted, and there are just two sprockets to clean. The gears themselves are sealed away and impervious to the mud, grit, snow, and sand. All you need to do is periodically drain the oil and fill it back up. Number two, the components are less susceptible to damage. With no exposed derailers, delicate hangers, or brittle cassettes, you can stress less about rocks, sticks, and the aftermath of your crashes. I also love traveling with gearbox bikes as the drivetrains cannot get damaged by reckless baggage handlers. Number three, there are fewer wear items. The gearbox is designed to last 100,000 kilometers and the external chain and cog wear at a significantly reduced rate compared to a derailleur system. If you're into gearboxes and bike travel, make sure to check out my bicycle buyer's guides. I'm excited to announce that the 2022 update will include almost all gearbox bikes for you to compare. You can find a link to my books in the description below. Number four, the straight chain line. The chain line on an Effie Gear drivetrain is perfectly straight, resulting in less chain wear. This equates to a longer chain life, expect more than 10,000 kilometers. Number five, it's belt drive compatible. Belt drivetrains can last more than 30,000 kilometers. They're also silent, lightweight, and require very little cleaning and lubrication. Number six, there are instant gear changes. You can make gear changes without pedaling, and you can even shift up to the harder gears at maximum power. You will need to back off on your power for a fraction of a second when shifting down though. Number seven, there's less unsprung mass at the rear wheel. On full suspension bikes, the rear swing arm can respond quicker to ground forces when there is less weight at the rear wheel, offering better small bump sensitivity. And number eight, the stronger rear wheel. As the hub doesn't need to accommodate for a cassette, the flanges can be spaced wider, which results in extra wheel strength and durability thanks to the larger bracing angles and more even tension across the spokes. Okay, now that I've got you stoked on gearboxes, let's discuss the features unique to the Effie Gear Mimic. Gear steps are the percentage difference in gear ratio when you change your gears. 
A bike with smaller gear steps is particularly nice at higher speeds, as you can better fine-tune your gear ratios to achieve the cadence, or crank revolutions per minute, that you're most comfortable riding. Smaller gear steps work out to be much less necessary at lower speeds, as your speed changes very little for each shift. To squeeze the most out of any gear range, a drivetrain ideally starts with big gear steps in the easiest gears and ends with small gear steps in the harder gears. This is exactly how derailleur drivetrain manufacturers design their cassettes. Currently, top tier gearboxes like Pinion, Roloff or Kindane use uniform gear steps from the first gear to the last. In comparison, the Effie gear uses variable steps that mimic a regular cassette. As you can see, the lower gears on the Effie gear mimic have bigger gear steps, while the higher gears use smaller gear steps. This is not dissimilar to the Box Components Prime 9 cassette. Another big draw card for the Effie gear mimic is that it uses SRAM, flat bar, or drop bar shifters. These styles of shifters are often preferred over the typical twist shifters that come with most gearboxes. You can upgrade a pinion gearbox to trigger or drop bar shifters, but it's not cheap. Sync aftermarket shifters on a flat bar bike add 300 euros to the purchase price, and for a drop bar bike, expect to add 600 euros. Effie Gear has said they're working on adapted Campagnolo shifters too, should you have a preference for Italian lever shapes. Gear pickup determines how quickly your drivetrain engages when you start pedaling. On most bikes, you'll notice a small clunk when you apply power to the pedals at low speeds, which is usually the pole system in your rear hub engaging. Ideally, we want instant engagement, but bike hubs usually offer between 24 and 36 engagement points per wheel revolution. Gearbox bikes have a second freewheel built into the gearbox itself that needs to engage along with the rear hub, slowing the gear pickup time even further. The number of engagements varies between gearboxes. Pinion gearboxes offer between 14 and 22 engagement points depending on the gear selected. So even with a high or instant engagement rear hub, there is still a noticeable delay at low speeds. In comparison, the Effie Gear Mimic gearbox has 48 engagement points in every gear, which means it'll engage just as quick as most bikes. An even faster way to engage the rear wheel is with the optional Effie Gear Fixed Gear Rear Hub. This results in the chain or belt constantly moving with your rear wheel, which could be an issue should a rock or stick jam in your sprockets. That said, Cavalry bikes have been using fixed gear hubs for many years now, so perhaps it's not a problem in practice. Also note that a continuously spinning chain or belt will experience more wear. The Effie gear and pinion gearboxes match up pretty closely in terms of specs, but let's find out some of the key differences. The gear range and gear steps are bigger on the pinion gearbox, so it will be better suited to steeper terrain or for e-bike use where you experience quicker acceleration. The distance between the pedals, or Q factor, is 11 millimeters narrower on the pinion gearbox, which might be preferred on a road, gravel, or commuter build. You need to back off on the power when shifting up in gears three to four and six to seven with the pinion gearbox. In comparison, the Effie gear will upshift under a full load in all gears. The pinion gearbox requires less frequent oil changes. The warranty is three years less on the pinion. That said, pinion have also had their gearbox in production for five years now, which will have ironed out most issues. When I add all of the components required to complete a gearbox drivetrain, the Effie gear Mimic is a touch cheaper than the Pinion C1.9 and is slightly more expensive than the new Kindane VII, but they're all in the same price ballpark. Like all other gearboxes, the Mimic will transfer less of your pedal power to the rear wheel than a derailleur drivetrain in perfect riding conditions. This is simply because there are two sets of cogs that are always meshing inside the gearbox, as well as oil moving between them. But the type of riding conditions is key here. 
In poor weather conditions, there is likely an efficiency advantage to using a gearbox system, as the exposed part of the drivetrain has fewer moving parts and crevices for mud and debris to get clogged in. While we don't have any efficiency data on the Effigear Mimic, we do know that a pinion gearbox with similar straight-cut gears loses an average of 6.5% across the drivetrain, compared to a single-speed chain setup. And compared to a derailleur drivetrain, we can expect the Mimic to be around 5% less efficient in perfect conditions. Effigear posted a video last year on their social media showing smartphone-controlled electronic shifting. While it's very early days, this might give us a glimpse into what Effigear are currently working on. The Effigear Mimic will comfortably handle the torque of most rear hub motors. But it's also worth noting that Effigear is also manufacturing an e-bike specific gearbox with a built-in motor. Interestingly, the Valeo Smart e-bike system uses 7-speed gearing with automatic gear changes, which will be perfect for urban use, but might not be ideal for off-road use. This really depends on the software. That said, for mountain bikers, there will be two buttons you can use to shift manually. A cool thing is that the Smart e-bike system will reduce motor torque when shifting, which allows you to downshift under a full load too. Expect to see the Valeo gearboxes on e-bikes early next year. I'm very excited to see a new gearbox on the market. Fingers crossed it proves to be just as reliable as other gearbox systems. While the specs are very similar to the Pinion gearbox, the Mimic offers variable gear steps, additional engagement points, upshifting under load in all gears, SRAM shifter compatibility, and a longer warranty. Pinion gearboxes, in comparison, offer a narrower distance between the crank arms, longer oil change intervals, and multiple options in terms of the number of gears and gear range. Additionally, Pinion has had more time to sort out any manufacturing and design issues given they've been in production for five years now. The Effigear Mimic will be available at the end of 2021. If you'd like to see a comparison of the two most common gearbox drivetrains, make sure to check out my roll-off versus Pinion gearbox video next. I've also got a lot of gearbox content on the Cycling About website if you wanted to go down that rabbit hole.